Okay, so now we have question number six from um, June 2013 legacy paper, the um, GCE paper. A beam AB has length 15 meters. Um, the beam rests horizontally in equilibrium on two smooth supports at the point P and Q, where AP is two meters and QB is three meters. So let's just start drawing this. Okay, let's draw the beam as like a straight line. There's your beam, AB. AB. Its length is 15 meters. What am I doing? Okay, AB. Its length is 15 meters. That's the total length of AB. Okay, um, the beam rests horizontally in equilibrium on two smooth supports at the points P and Q. Okay, so let's draw the supports in P and Q. Now, I'll just draw two support and another support. Okay, now it says um, AP is two meters. So AP is two meters, and QB is three meters. It's just a rough diagram. Okay. Okay, so here you have P and here you have Q. Okay, this is um, two meters and this is three meters. All right, when a child of mass 50 kilograms Okay, uh, stands upon stands on the beam at A. The beam remains in equilibrium and is on the point of tilting about P. When the same child of mass 50 kilograms stands on the beam at B, uh, the beam remains in equilibrium and is on the point of tilting about Q. The child is modeled as a particle and the beam is modeled as a non-uniform rod. Okay, let's have a look at this. So the beam is a non-uniform rod. So we don't know um, where the center of mass is okay it could act it doesn't act at the geometric center we have to calculate where it is as you can see part two it tells you to do that okay so let's call the distance let's call that distance a uh, x sorry let's call that distance x the distance of the center of mass just put it anywhere let's say this is the center of mass we have to find it okay so this is where the weight's acting Okay, that's the weight of the beam, which is, mm, or we have to find the mass of the beam. Okay, so this is mg, and this is x. So those are the things we need to find, x and mg. Now, um, there's a child of 50 kilograms when he stands at A. So let's, let's take the first example when he stands at A. So he's standing at A. Okay, his mass is 50 kilograms, so that's 50 g here, that's his weight. Okay, um, the beam remains in equilibrium and is on the point of tilting about P. That means it's just about to lift up, that, that part on Q is just about to lift up, it's, it's a tilting about P. Okay, so this is about to come down, this is about to go up, that means there's no reaction force. So let's just draw those forces. Let's draw all the forces in first. We're going to have the reaction force at here, that P. The reaction, let's draw that straight up. The reaction force at P, the reaction force at Q. Okay, so that's the reaction force at P and that's the reaction force at Q. Now, if it's on the point of tilting about P, so uh, in the first situation, okay, when the mass is at A, okay, when the child is standing at A, it's about to put tilt about P. That means RQ is equal to zero. Okay, so if we just um, resolve the forces vertically, you have RP is equal to 50 plus 50G, sorry, plus MG. Those are the only forces acting. Okay, um, 
All right, because RQ is zero. And if we take moments about, okay, let's take moments about um, P, because we don't know what RP is exactly, right? Because it depends what M is. So let's take moments about P. So if we take moments about P, now it's in equilibrium. So the clockwise and anticlockwise moments will be equal. Now, RQ is equal to zero in this first situation. Okay, so you only got these two forces to worry about because um, this force, this reaction is going through this, going through the place where we're taking moments about. Okay, so the clockwise forces are now this distance here. What's that distance here? Well, it's x minus two. All right, so you're going to have um, 50 g. The clockwise, sorry, the clockwise is mg times x minus 2 is equal to 50g times 2. Okay. Um, and the second situation okay, is where the force 50g uh, is here. And in this case RP is equal to zero. Okay, so that's a different situation. But what's the same? M is the same, and so it. Okay, so what's the same is M and this X. It's the same in both situations. So now, in the second situation, when uh, you put the mass, 50, 50 uh, kilogram mass on this side, this is now the weight, 50 G, acting on this side, and it's about to tilt about Q, meaning that this is just about to lift up, so there's no reaction force here. So in the second situation, we have that RP is equal to zero. Okay, and so then uh, we can say RQ is equal to 50G plus MG. Alright, and um, if we take moments this time about Q, that can eliminate this force uh, RQ, then what do we have? Well, we have the clockwise moments are 50g times 3. And they're equal to the um, anticlockwise moments. Now, what are the anticlockwise moments? Uh, well, it's this distance. We've got to work out what this distance is over here. Okay, we've got to work out what that distance is. Now, what do we know? Let's have a look what we know. Okay. We know, um, we want to find this distance over here. We want to write this down in terms of x. Okay, so I know that x is from, from there to there. And I know that this distance from, from there all the way to here is basically 15 minus 3, which is 12. That distance is 12, isn't it? So this distance must be, from where the force is acting, is 12 minus x. So you're going to have... If we take moments of, of this, if we see the, the um, anti-clockwise moments of about Q, it's going to be mg times 12 minus x. Okay, so basically we have this pair of equations. i can just continue this. These two equations, which are both, you can, we can solve them simultaneously. They both have x, uh, sorry, they both have x, yes, and they have m in them. All right, so let's just simplify. You've got mg minus 2, sorry, mgx. You've got mgx minus 2mg equals 100g. And here you've got 150g is equal to 12mg minus mgx. So equation 1 and equation 2. Now, you've got mgx and minus mgx. So if we do 1 plus 2, you're going to have the mgx is disappearing. You'll have 10mg is equal to 250g. So m is going to be... m is going to be 25. Okay, 25. 
that's M and we want to find let's just get rid of this one now we want to find X well now we know what um, now we know what M is we can find X by using any of these two equations okay let's use this one so we got MGX so 25 G times X minus 2 times 25 times G equals 100 G so you're gonna have 25 G X is equal to that's going to be a 150 G because you're going to have uh, 100 plus 50 so X is going to be 150 G over 25 G so 25 goes into that six times so X is equal to six meters so there we have the answer to part A and part B I'll do in the next video